Well, we are, I think, three weeks in, and this is what we've achieved. A couple of days a week, with a lot of rain, a lot of wind, quite a few storms. Um, it might not seem like much, but it's been really exhausting. <laughs> so we're what? About, uh, Oscar, now we're almost up to the end. Um, Native Hedge, as far as the spade, we have blackthorn. Look at the wheelbarrow here. The blackthorn, whitethorn, hazel, and gelder or dog rose. With, uh, some rose hips, which I'm sure is going to make lovely provisions out of. So that's, uh, let's see, we've got, we've got 75 in so far. Another 75 to go. That's just on one side. So we are at the stage of putting in Oscar proof fencing, which isn't very high but Oscar doesn't tend to jump over fences, so we're hoping a three foot fence sheep worm will just stop them from going out in the road. I um, think it will. We have put in our native hedge, which is a mixture of black thorn, white thorn and hazel. The front is just black thorn and white thorn, I want to keep it low and compass it and try and create a the traditional hedge into over with spikes at some stage in the future. And along the side we have the same again but we also have some um, hazel and some uh, dog rose which is a, a nice flower. So now we've discovered that putting up sheep wire without tensioning equipment is quite difficult. So we are resorting to a jemmy bar. And my beautiful assistant is going to hold the wire taut well, I attempt to hammer in staples. Ably watched, disapprovingly, by Mr. Rob Scallion. <laughs> so now, we're gonna crack on. Okay, give me that. I think I have to go on the other side. All oh, right, okay. Come on, go. On the other hand, we can just leave it the way it is. Okay. Well, Ellie. Moved to Ireland 12 years ago. Did you ever think you'd be the best place in Ireland? Putting up sheep wire in your own home? Never. <laughs> I was just like six months. Six life. months? Come and down. Live some Dublin nightlife. <laughs> yes, Oscar. I know. What are you going to do when the cat appears, huh? Not easily. Nope. Uh, bottom. Bottom, but you have to hold it.
So, <coughs> we have discovered a new method. Seeing as our old method was a bit crap. And Ellie is now going to demonstrate how she pulls like a dog. I'd like to point out that the dog is not impressed. First, I need to put the gloves on. <laughs> it is better to pull like a dog when you have gloves on than when you don't have gloves on. So, rule number one of pulling like a dog, get gloves. Rule number two, you need one of these. The jemmy bar. The actual dog is... Um, <laughs> Really not impressed. Rule number three, you kind of go, it has to be close enough to this so you get, you know, a lot of strength in it. And then you literally pull like a dog. And there you go, that's straight. And there you go, so now we should put down the camera so I can put in some staples. So we have now finished our first section, and I've just spotted. My Bushman saw, which I need to bring in, and that'll leave it in the rain. <clears throat> so here we go, let's have a look, see what we've done. Operation Keep Oscar Safe. All made possible by the help of my lovely wife. There she is. <laughs> Good job, Ellie. Good job, Arthur. Uh, we're pretty pleased with that. Yes, some people might say he might jump over it. If he jumps over it, we'll deal with that. I don't think that he will, though. He's not really a jumper. So. Yay! Time to go for the walk now. It's time it is to go time for a to walk. go and walk the dog. <laughs> uh, so today I am uh, doing the doors and hopefully the windows. Um, so let me just show you what I've just what I have done. Uh, so the front door I have just sanded it by hand. As you can see, it's I think I think it's a decent enough door. There was this old. There was this old thing at the top door, so I took it out. Uh, I can see that the original paint was green, and then they painted it black, and we decided to paint it black as well, because it just looks very pretty with black. So now I'm going to use the leftover, this kind of sanding paper to give this a good clean, because it's absolutely packed with dirt and filth and after that if it doesn't start raining I'm going to move to the windows uh, the windows are kind of old I think this is kind of like a putty I think Arthur told me it's called and uh, it's, I'm just gonna give it a good sand today um, and then I need to find or to wait for a day with not only not rain but low enough humidity so the paint dries very well so i have the door and i have that window and i have this window as well um yesterday I've, i i gave them a good clean so now i'm gonna give them a good sanding and hopefully by the end of the week i'm gonna give them a good painting <laughs> i'll show you the other one as well so we have this one here, I think they're decent enough. So we're just gonna paint them and probably this winter, we're going to use them the way they are. We are not gonna change them. Um, and then these doors here, the back and the windows, they're actually double glazed and they made out of wood. I really like this wood. So I think I'm not gonna do paint on them, but I'm gonna do, a stain, a very dark kind of slaty uh, stain to keep it in line with the rest of the house. But uh, that's this is another battle for another day. 
because I have a few of them here. enough for now definitely better than what it was okay now I need to hoover Outside is dark, the time has just changed, so now it gets dark around five, six o'clock. So I lit the fire. I have a little bit of wood that I uh, foraged during my Oscar walk today. And then because it's open fire, we're gonna buy a stove, but for now it's open fire. So we bought, we bought the smokeless coal from the local co-op agri co-op so while this is on i have set up my desk yay, for my home office yay so i'm going to show it to you now oop so this is my desk it's a big big fella don't look at the bedroom because this is kind of like a improv like this will be the this will be the guest bedroom. So now we're just sleeping on this mattress here, uh, while our old mass is, mattress is drying out. And let me show you the desk. So, as you can see, it doesn't look very good. Arthur wants to get rid of it, but I really like it. I got it from somebody I knew who wanted to get rid of it, and it's really big and it's really heavy and sturdy. So that's what I love about it. Now, the reason behind the bad paint, it's me. Because when I got it, I wanted to paint it with, uh, you know, glossy paint, full gloss green paint. And I had no clue at that time. I had no clue at that time how difficult it is to paint with glossy paint. So the result is this bad fellow over here. Now, I've also used it quite a lot for over a year after I painted it. So now I'm going to sand it, a little bit of sanding, and then I'm going to do chalk paint. Still green, I like green. Chalk paint and then um, a water-based seal. So stay tuned for that, <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> 